Gabby's Fabulous Functions. Meet our coding creatives. This is Addie. Addie likes arts and crafts. She spends most of her time colouring, playing music and making things. Whenever she sees something new, she wonders how it came to be. She likes to say, I wonder. This is Gabby. Gabby loves to read, play outside and take care of her dog, Charlie. She is always curious about how things work. Whenever she sees something that needs fixing, she tries to find the best way to improve it. She often says, what if? Addie and Gabby make a great team. Gabby and her mum are grocery shopping. They are buying ingredients that Gabby and Addie will need for some recipes. Recipes are instructions that lead to an end result. Something delicious! Blueberries plus strawberries plus bananas equals fruit salad. Tomatoes plus green peppers plus lime juice plus cilantro equals salsa. Today is Gabby's father's birthday. Gabby wants to make him breakfast. Addie has come over to help. Gabby's mum had to go to work. Before she left, she prepared the ingredients for fruit salad and breakfast tostadas. Let's start with the fruit salad, Addie says. It's the easiest. Here's what we'll need, Gabby says, reading the recipe. Blueberries, strawberries. Mixing ingredients to make something new is like a function in computer programming, Addie says. When you ask for a cookie, you don't say, please pass the eggs and the flour and the sugar and the butter and the chocolate chips. You just say, pass the cookie, please. A function is like a recipe for a computer, Gabby says. It tells the computer that when you say cookie, what you really mean is eggs, flour, sugar, butter and chocolate chips all mixed up and baked into a circle. Functions. A function is a block of code that performs a certain task. It tells a computer what you need to do without having to explain every step. Functions help computer programmers avoid having to repeat the same actions over and over. If you need to do a task again and again, you can create a function that works as a shortcut. Functions have an input like ingredients and an output like a cookie. Instead of fruit salad, how about if we make a parfait, Addie suggests. What's a parfait, Gabby asks. It's made with yogurt, berries and granola. Since we already have berries, we just need some yogurt and granola, Addie says. Gabby checks the refrigerator. We have those. Great, Addie says. She puts some yogurt in a bowl and adds some berries. Then Gabby adds a sprinkle of granola. All done. Gabby picks up the tostada recipe. So if the recipes are like functions, the input for this would be refried beans, grated cheese, avocado, lettuce, salsa, and a corn tortilla, she says. Addie and Gabby put together tostada using the ingredients Gabby's mother prepared. And the output is the tostada, Addie cheers. Now we just need to warm it up. Let's make some more parfaits, Gabby says. What if we make a function factory? A parfait function factory. The girls make a sign that says input. They put it next to the ingredient sitting on the computer. Yogurt, berries and granola. Then they make a sign that says output for the finished parfaits. And between the two signs, they set up a box saying function. When we input the ingredients, our output will be a parfait, Gabby says. Functions in video games. In a video game, you might want to make your character run, jump or turn. Several code blocks would be needed to make each of those actions or tasks happen. The code blocks need to appear in a certain order to make the task happen correctly. Instead of typing out all of those code blocks every time, you could create a function for each task. A function combines many steps in one. The code blocks are just the inputs for your function. The action is the output. 
you could name the function run or jump, turn left or turn right, and the function might look something like this, code A plus code B plus code A equals run, or code C plus code D equals jump. Or another function could be code E and code F equals turn. Another one could be code E or code plus code G equals turn right. Each function would run the code block needed for that task. That way, with just one click, your character can run, jump, or turn quickly to win the game. Gabby's dad comes into the kitchen. Happy birthday, Gabby and Addie call out. We use functions to make your breakfast, Gabby explains. Let's show your dad our parfait function factory, Addie says. Okay, I'll be the computer, Gabby says. She stands behind the box so that her dad can't see what she is doing. Input, please, she says to Addie. Addie hands her the yogurt, berries and granola. Behind the box, Gabby quickly mixes the ingredients into a fancy glass to make a parfait, and then she sets the finished parfait next to the output sign. Ding, goes the toaster oven. Now your toast starter is ready too, Gabby says. She carefully puts it on a plate and gives it to her dad. Addie hands him his parfait. Gabby's dad dips a spoon into the parfait and takes a bite. Well, this is the most delicious output I have ever had, he says. Good coding and cooking, girls. Which functions make the perfect pizza? Addie and Gabby decide to make a pizza for lunch. The ingredients or input for the pizza are cheese, sauce, dough and pepperoni. Just like code blocks in a function, ingredients need to go in a certain order to get it right. Which of these rows show the correct order to get the right result for a pizza? Hmm, I think it's going to be dough down first, sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. And the reason why I choose that is because if you don't put your dough down first, you're gonna have things underneath the pizza. There you go. What a great coding story for young kids. And we've got a few words in the glossary here that we can um, put into practice. Code, code block, computer, function, input, output, programmer and task. And um, some other tips on some games that you might want to play or think up together. Happy exploring guys.